I need you to know that for the past two days, I've been making up raps in my head about being like a drug dealer, but not a drug dealer. Like instead of, you know, pushing drugs, I push doll clothes. Hi, I'm Leslie, and it's been a very long time, but not really. Um, I'm the host and owner of Geeky Girls Night In, together with Quinzel. We make geeky content. Um, I haven't made a video in a while, but I have live streamed a couple times um, a game that I've been playing called Frostpunk that I actually the last live stream I rage quit on. So um, if you want to check that out and see me not really angry, but actually very angry, go ahead and click somewhere up here. So, um, dolls. Um, I didn't used to collect dolls, but I kind of do now. It's, it's kind of confusing. Okay. And it all goes back to K-pop, of course. So there are these dolls that, um, they're made and they're made kind of in the likeness of your favorite K-pop star. They're cutesy. They don't 100% look like them, but they're adorable. And it would just make sense if I showed you. So this one is made in the likeness of Shodu. And it's got like a little bear outfit on and everything like that. And this doll is a 20 centimeter doll. Okay. This one is made in the likeness of Young One from Monster X. And like it's got cute little fuzzy ears. That that part that part he doesn't have ears. I mean, he doesn't have cute fuzzy ears in real life. I don't think. He could. I don't know. That ain't my ministry. Anyway, and then this one is a 15 centimeter doll. So if you look, there is quite considerable size distance between them. Difference. So they make 20 centimeter and 15 centimeter dolls. You can you see them all over the place. Um, I have a 20 centimeter Shona doll and a 20 centimeter Minyuk doll. And I wanted to get the rest of them, but shipping is expensive um, from Korea to the States. And so like when these were out, I couldn't afford them all. And now that I can, like they don't sell them anymore. So, um, and different people sell different ones. Um, the young one, one I, I, had, I got that one most recently. And then I got a Juhon doll too, a 15 centimeter Juhon. At the same time I got that. In the meanwhile, um, I also have I just recently did a pre-order for a Kion and a Chenkyun doll. So yeah, apparently I collect dolls now, along with two Tuk Gom stuff. It's a thing. So with this, um, they come with outfits a lot of times, but sometimes, you know, you want to dress them differently. And if you look on our Instagram page, around December, I had the Shonu doll and the Minyuk doll dressed in Santa clothes. You know, it's just fun. It's cute. I enjoy it. But the thing is, I was having a hard time finding clothes for them. I, I don't know how this works and so. Um, but I found a person that sells the clothes and they're called Accio Closet and they're on Twitter. And they're also located in Vietnam. So I spoke with them and they had never done a shipment to America before. So she was excited. I was excited. We were going to do the thing. And so we did the thing. Now, oh, and this is the thing. And this is why I've been like joking about drugs for a while because it looks like a brick. So um, a couple of things to note. Um, Shipping from Vietnam to the United States is weird. It's also expensive, which 
most of the time it is if you're shipping from another country but vietnam's postal service doesn't match up with the u.s postal service and let me give you an example of what i mean when I buy something from Korea and I opt for boat shipping, if I look on USPS's website, I can see tracking from the time it gets shipped to the boat dock. And then I see when it gets on the boat and then I don't see anything um, about the shipment until it hits the States. Which makes sense because there's not going to be somebody on a boat scanning it like every single day. I'm in the middle of the ocean. I'm still in the middle of the ocean. Right. With Vietnam, like you, you're not going to be able to look at it on USPS. Period. Um, there are websites that you can put in the tracking and it'll give it to you. But once it hits the states, it stops tracking. Because our tracking doesn't match up. So, um, and I knew this because I've ordered from Vietnam before, I believe. Like, I, I remember this being an issue. And so, and it took a while because shipping was so expensive. They didn't want to put me out so much. So they, they shipped it on the cheapest option, which would be like the equivalent of um, media mail for the United States Postal Service. So it took a little while to get here, but it did get here. It's right here. And I'm going to open it. And yeah, just like I said, these are doll clothes. And at this point, I forgot what I ordered. I suppose I could look on Twitter and see, but it's right here. They packaged it really well. It because it's a long journey, and that's kind of important. And that's something that I've never had an issue with with all of my buying overseas is that everything is always packaged really well. So it has my name and it looks like it says five sets. So it looks like I bought five outfits. And at the time that I bought this, I didn't have the 15 centimeter doll, but I had ordered it, so I know that at least one of these outfits are 15 centimeter. Once again, I'm trying not to, to like cut through the clothes. Um, and this is my box cutter. So while I'm opening this, let me talk to you for a bit. Um, the reason why I haven't been making videos in the past few weeks is um, a lot of big changes have happened. I quit my job. Um, I quit my job. I got a new one. And though it is still in IT, it is very different than what I used to do. So, oops, I almost spilled my drink. Um, I'm learning that and I don't have like, by the time I get done, I'm exhausted for the day, and I don't have the wherewithal to, um, oh, I don't have the wherewithal to film. They told me that they were going to send this. It, yeah. So, I think it's, look at that. Isn't that cool? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And the envelope is just beautiful. Come on, focus. Yeah. All right. So here's the package. But yeah, I started a new job. It's going okay. Um, very different from what I used to do. And I'm just learning. And when I when I don't film, I try to stream, live stream a video game. So you'll have that at least. And I hope you take advantage and watch that. So. Alright. Here we go. Okay, 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 okay. So. Here's the first outfit. 
so it's a little oh there we go so there's a shirt and the shorts and oh and a vest that goes on top and then a little matching hat And this is the same thing. I think this is, I think these are 20 centimeter. Cause I think I got this for the Shonu doll. Cause I thought it would be cute. So if you can tell, those are the shorts and the shirt and the vest. And the hat. And the hat says little fox. Okay. Here's another outfit. And these are like, these are thick. They're good quality clothes. They're good quality fabric. So, shorts. And a little dinosaur jacket to wear, or coat, or shirt to wear over it. Let's see, little dinosaurs. And two more. You know what? No, this might be the the one that I said was the 20 centimeter might be the 15 because it's an awfully big hat. So yeah, so I'm thinking this is the 20 centimeter and then this is the 15. Yeah. Yeah. So because I got a leather jacket for Shonu. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. So, and like these look like shorts, but they're pants because the dolls are so small. So, the two with the hat, with the beanie hats, are 15 centimeter doll, doll clothes. And then, oh, and then the dinosaur one, I didn't show you. It comes with a hat as well that says Roar, which I think is cute. And I'm in my office because I didn't want to set up in the living room. And I'm just, I'm tired. And this was easiest. So. And then this is the final outfit, which is similar to the first two that I showed you. So. This is 20 centimeter because that is a huge hat. Um, see? Yeah. Give me a second and I will change and you can see the love of it. And these like the dolls like they'll have like little different details on them like I've seen I think like the BTS dolls and like they'll have stars where their belly buttons are and like I've seen some that have like defined butt cracks mine do not they just look like kid dolls which is cool and you can get shoes and stuff on, but the shoes are pricey. I think I have a few pairs of shoes in my drawer over here. I'd have to look. Before this, I could get like some clothes from AliExpress, but there was no telling what you would get when it showed up. These are actually really good quality. They, they feel thick. They feel well made. And that may not matter to you because they're doll clothes, but they matter to me, or it matters to me, excuse me. And a lot of times when I go on trips and stuff, you will see me on Instagram take pictures, like wherever we're at, like of the doll. Just traveling with them. My kid gets a kick out of it too, so. And 
Bam. Isn't that cute? So yeah. Um, the name of the Twitter account is Accio Closet, and I'll put a link to their their um, to their Twitter feed there. That's how I found them. I don't think they have a website, but if I find out that they do, I will go ahead and post that as well. Um, they're super pleasant to work with. Um, just nice people to talk to. So um, that is it for this video. Uh, make sure you check out me losing my shit while I'm playing, um, while I'm trying to survive um, the post-industrial revolution and make sure nobody freezes to death. It's a ride, let me tell you. Um, but yeah, like I, there's so many things that we need to talk about. There's so much going on right now, not just the new job. I have a tattoo. I have a tattoo. And, um, so much more. But we'll get to that by and by. Until next time. Bye. Bye.